Hello YouTube, just doing a quick demonstration here of uh, my static spark gap for my Tesla coil. I've got it hooked up to a Variac to adjust it. If anybody has any uh, technical insight into this, I would appreciate it. Um, I have a 8 inch tung pure tungsten welding rod that I cut myself and got um, copper heatsink pipes on a 12 kilovolt 30 milliamp transformer and my borrowed variac and multimeter here and what I've been told is you want you don't want to really the arc to kick in until about 120 volts I've got mine right now kicking in at about 110 just for safety just so I mean power here stays at about 125 but not only that but I I want it kicking in a little underpowered so that um, I don't burn my transformer up. Um, I'm assuming 110, I don't know the math, but that gives you a little bit of safety factor. But it, right now, I haven't measured with a caliper. It's pretty wide. Right at about 1.3 millimeters. I guess that's normal for a 12 kilovolts, but I can't find any data again. But I don't want to go any wider than that, but here I'll show you. Air starts ionizing at about 70 volts. You can hear it buzzing. Um, yeah, it's on right at 111. And I don't think I will go any wider than that, so I'll keep you updated and show you my finished coil, but for now, that's how I've been calibrating my gaps. My uh, Spark gap and safety gap. Uh, thanks for watching.